Hey Gearaholic fans out there, it's me Gearaholic here, and I'm coming at you guys with a whole new modification. And today we're going to be working on the Mora Classic Number 1, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a handle modification on this. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to take the, the red uh, paint off here, and basically turn it into uh, just a plain wooden handle. Alright, let's get started. So, I'm finished, <clears throat> let's see what the final product is. So here it is, the classic, more classic number one, uh, in its finished product. So I'll just kind of rotate it real slow here. Very fun project, very easy to do, uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of time either. Um, I decided to leave the red uh, at the bottom of the handle, uh, just the red paint at the bottom of the handle. And then I also left a very, very thin red uh, strip here. It was more very hard to get to, um, and I was worried about scratching up the uh, the tang guard here. Uh, but uh, the overall appearance, I think, really is is a really beautiful one. Um, and just getting back to that natural wood feel of knives, uh, I think that knives that have uh, wooden handles just look a lot better. Um, they're aesthetically pleasing to me. Um, I know that uh, a lot of people out there have uh, mixed feelings about having wooden handle knives, but I, I certainly do enjoy them. Um, so that's really basically it. Uh, that's a really simple, just a very simple thing that you can do at home. Uh, and honestly, all I used was, you know, a variety of sandpapers and just a little bit of, um, just a little bit of time. And that's all, basically all it took. Uh, a grand total project time is probably about an hour, you know, with sanding and, uh, you know, all that. So, all right. Well, that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, as I always say, be safe out there and try not to cut yourselves. I'm Gear Hulk and I'm signing out. Later, guys.